<laughs> just the Yo, welcome to Friends with Davey, y'all. Hey, TikTok, the TikTok ban has started in Montana, y'all. This is wild. They are actually <laughs> banning TikTok in Montana. We're going to get into that. Uh, also, Trump did a town hall on CNN. That was insane. I've got some exclusive footage from that. But first, I have to welcome to the studio our guest today, Miss Julia Watkins. Hello, Julia. How are you? Hi. Good, how are you? Josh, where is the round of applause? <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> what? You know that we always applaud our guests, Josh. Yeah, no, I was watching the little wheel spin because it's buffering, so I didn't know if people were watching it or we're just talking to ourselves. So that's what I was concerned with. Oh, are we actually live? I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Are, are we live, live right now? People are commenting. Oh, okay. If cool. you can comment, if you can see us right now, that would be great. That would be perfect. I see Dr. Tim. I see David Harris. I see Audrey. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. I'm not going to say it, Josh. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. Awesome. But you know what I'm thinking. Yes. Okay. Back to you, Julia. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Friends with David. Thank you, John. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yay. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, how you doing? You no, know, I'm doing. I'm good. How are you? You know what? I'm I'm doing really great. I'm gonna ignore Josh for now. He's really <laughs> he's trying to get under my skin right now. He's, he's trying his best. <laughs> he's doing a good job. <laughs> he always does. Keep it up. <laughs> he always does. Trying to get in them pants. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh. My pants? Buy yeah. him dinner first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I meant like the size. I wish I was a 32. That's what I meant. Uh, Excuse me. Ooh. I'm a size 30 waist, Josh. Thank That's you so much. That's the grossest thing I've ever heard a grown man say. That I'm a size 30? Yes. How is you that You even gross? said it the way you did it. The way you know. <laughs> 30? You perked up when you said it. I didn't perk up. Yeah, you did. Something perked up. He said, uh, actually. <laughs> I'm a 30. Actually. I'm a 30. Um. I don't know. Sorry. I don't know what's going on right now, Julia. I, I, I apologize. Don't either. This is chaotic. This is so chaotic. <laughs> Julia, you uh, you do so much stuff. And uh, that's why I wanted you to come on the live stream today. Oh, God. Uh, I said that weird. But <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry. I wanted you to join us on the live stream today uh, to talk about, you know, all the all the different stuff that you're involved in. The oh, the, the most exciting one, I think, right now is your MMA career. Right, right. Doing a lot with <laughs> MMA. Yeah, it's a lot. Do you train like every day? Every day. Wow. Twice a day. Twice a day yeah. every day. Every day. And I take a day off or, you know. What are your main disciplines? Disciplines? Like your your yeah, like what are you proficient in? In terms of fighting? Yes. Um, well, considering that I am an MMA fighter, I cross train everything. So right. I'm doing Muay Thai boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. It's Run a little bit in. of everything. Yeah. J Josh just mismatch. wanted to say discipline to you. <laughs> That's actually what that was. Yeah. I, I didn't think that. I didn't know how to say it. You know, what art are you into? What martial oh, okay. art? Okay. Yeah. 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 What, yeah. What martial art do you excel in? They're also or called what's disciplines. your expertise? Yeah. They're also called disciplines. Okay. It's Josh. a cluster of everything. Yeah. yeah. What cluster? Of, um, Josh wants everything. you to beat him, I think, everything. is what. Everything. Is what I'm gathering here. Not at all. Okay. We can, we can, hey, the cool thing about Texas is you can actually agree to fight. Mutual and, combat. Yeah. So if you want a mutual combat. I don't. Okay. I, I'm, I don't, on camera, Wait, I'm saying I don't. What, what do you What do you mean? Like, agree so like, to let's, fight? Let's say you meet somebody at the bar or okay. at the grocery store and you say, right. hey, you want to fight? I want to fight. You want to go outside? Oh. You don't get, nobody gets arrested for it. As long as it's consensual between the two parties, you can beat each other up. But you can't oh. stomp them out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. So there's like a limit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what's I mean? What's the limit? Obviously, you I mean, can't kill, stomp don't them. Don't kill them. Well, I mean, definitely, <laughs> you want to keep them alive. Yeah. Theoretically, I think that yeah. would still be manslaughter, even if the fight yeah. was agreed if they're to. Like right. Knocked out. I'm pretty sure you gotta. You just gotta quit. Yeah. Right there. You gotta rough yourself. I don't know. I wouldn't do that in San Antonio because I I had a you know uh, an altercation outside of a bar. Did you? Uh, when I very first moved here. Yeah. Yeah, and um, it was a one-on-one -on -one fair fight. And I guess I won the fight, but then they made me leave because they said that that guy's cousins were going to show up in a suburban Oh, mm -hmm. and really finish the fight. Oh yeah. I believe that. Yeah. So that was kind of scary. So I, I personally, I don't think even if someone agreed to fight, I don't think I would do it. Not anymore. Well, we, uh, we have, you have your rights too. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is I America. Could if I wanted to. It's America. This is America. This is Texas. <laughs> why are you saying it like that, Josh? Because that's why I choose to say it as an American. You identify as a uh, redneck? Well, that was a redneck? I thought that was just American. Amer- American. Yeah. American. This is yeah. Texas. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. our Texas. own country here. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. You, if you live in Texas, you have dual citizenship. What? Yeah. United States and Texas. And, Texas. and the Republic of Texas. There you go. That is not true, y'all. Did Josh you grow up lying. in Texas? I was born in Texas. I was raised in Texas. I did live outside of Texas for a little while. Do you right? not remember standing up and saying the Texas flag in school? Okay, Julia, I was homeschooled. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. I, he was in a cult. <laughs> That's yeah, right. thanks for bringing I'm that so, up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he didn't learn about the real world. Julia is dissing me right now. What is happening? <laughs> I thought we agreed Oops. before that we were going to gang up on Josh. Okay, you're right. Well, that's yeah. not cool. Okay, you're right. <laughs> okay, so you're training MMA almost every day. Yes. Twice a day. Yes. What's the What's the goal? What are you working towards right now? Um, I want to go pro. You do want to go yeah, pro. Yeah, I, I absolutely want to make it a career. How does like that work? Do, like, do, you, do you declare or, you know, do you have to like join a league or how does that, do you have to get invited? How does that work? Um, well, you'll have, um, so obviously you'll start as an amateur and you'll have some fights. Okay. Um, and then you'll have to be signed in as a pro. Mm. Um, yeah. So okay. You, so you have to kind of have a little bit under your belt to okay. be able to go, move forward. Um, you don't have to have a stellar record. Like there are some people with absolute garbage records that still can make it in, into the pro leagues. But Really? Yeah. Well, so. I would think as uh, a female fighter, I mean, y'all are in pretty high demand right now. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, so. I know so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, all I mean, all the big the fight yeah. leagues, you know, UFC, yeah. Pride, Glory, they all want, you know, female fighters. Yeah, and that's why I'm pretty excited about it because as a woman, I do believe that I have a um, a better chance of going pro. Of, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. With men, it's like you have to compete with so many different people to get your name out there. Yeah. But as a woman, it's completely different. That's right. I do. I I do recognize that. Well, how, how long do you think you're going to have to train before you can get your, your first pro fight? Oh God, honestly, I, I'm, I'm not even sure. Um, it's up to my coaches, Okay. Uh, probably a while. I'll, I'll be doing this for a while. I'll be in my amateur career for a few years. Yeah. Really? A yeah. few years? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, there, there'll become a certain point where, um, hopefully I'll be able to only focus on that. Through things like sponsorships or, gotcha. you know, growing an online presence. Um, you don't get paid much for doing these actual fights, mm-hmm. but the money is made with the sponsorships. Yeah. 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 Our, our buddy, Justin Governall. I mean, he, he's, yeah, yeah. he's fought quite a bit. Uh, yeah. He was on Bellator. He was on Bellator. Mm-hmm. He's got a, a, I mean, he's got a pretty solid professional record, mm-hmm. but even, even with that, you know, and all the attention that he's gained, um, he still doesn't get paid a whole lot of money for those fights. It's really the sponsorships. Yeah. Unless you make it, unless you're like the top 1% and you're, you know, top UFC. Right. With the belt. And you got those um, crazy purses. Yeah. Yeah. But even then there's other affiliations that, um, like PFL or one, um, mm. that pay their fighters a lot more. So if I were to go a different route instead of the UFC and I were to try to kind of shoot for that, um, they do pay their fighters a lot more. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, so there's a chance that you could make some money yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. But it I'm sounds kinda, like you've got yeah. at least a, a couple of years ahead of you. I'm I'm kind of just um, banking on the fact of like sponsorships, and really, it's my passion. So as long as I'm doing it and I can focus on that 100, percent I'm I'm okay with it. Okay. What about other countries? Like, uh, you know, I don't know, like smaller countries that you know with smaller people. Well, yeah, with smaller <laughs> people that you can okay. just beat up and it'll be fine. <laughs> Just I'm, saying, fighting in the Philippines. I'm just like those... I'm saying like a smaller league that's in another country and you just dominate that league wouldn't you get paid more mm, you know I'm not too sure I don't think so no okay I think it I think it really comes down to viewership and that's where they're getting their money off of the pay-per-views so right. obviously the bigger you know the well, more I figure other countries can do uh, legal gambling you know what I mean? Oh, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I mean, if, if you also I'm think about it, sure. I mean, it's, it's not a bad point. Like if you went and fought, let's say in Japan, yeah, right. And you're, you know, a, a white girl with, with blue eyes and they're not used to seeing that necessarily. Well, it's not so, so much of that because they're bringing in fighters from all, all over the country. Like if mm. you look at UFC, they have fighters from everywhere across the world. So yeah, it's that's not true. really, it's not really like you have like a American ran league and you know what i mean does that yeah. make sense mm. it's you know they're kind of diversified they're pulling in, it's yeah they're yeah. pulling in fighters from everywhere i mean so. it's worth looking into josh mm-hmm. 
I mean, I, I feel like maybe if we can start managing Julia. Yeah, start managing me. Get her to fight in Taiwan or something. <laughs> oh, Dwight no. Howard's huge there right now. No, I mean, they're scary fighters. Those Muay Thai fighters? Absolutely not. They, f- they don't feel Trying to get me kicked in the head? <laughs> yeah, they like kick down palm trees yeah. and stuff, right? Or not palm trees. What yeah, are they? Palm trees. It is palm trees? Yeah. 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 yeah well, who's, your favorite, who's your favorite fighter? Ooh, Brandon Moreno. Oh, okay. Who's oh, your wow. favorite female fighter? Mm, Thug Rose. Okay. Oh, mm. she's nice. Yeah, Doug Rose. She's mm-hmm. hey, you got she's a, fun to watch. You got a few uh, comments on here. Oh, well. what kind of comments do we have, Josh? Anything worth mentioning? Uh, David says you have a great giggle. Oh, oh you God. have a great giggle, Julia. Uh, All right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Davey, uh, Mia told me to tell you that she decided that she wants to be a police officer. Oh. Uh, when she's Ooh. older. That's Miss Wendy May. Okay. Yeah. So Bridget Just says hi. Sharing some stuff about the kiddos. Thank nice. you, Wendy May. Glad you're here. David wants to know what your weight class is. That's rude, David. Wow. <laughs> I'll probably um, probably fight around 135. I am at 155. What, right what now. weight class is? is that? Is that Bantam? Is that? I'm gonna be so honest. I can't even keep up with okay. with all the weight classes. Not sure. Yeah. Well, I guess in 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 women's fighting, it would be a little different because 135 middleweight men's would would probably be like bantam weight or mm-hmm. something like that. I would think maybe mm-hmm. or maybe featherweight. But in women's that that might be that might be like that might be weight. Unless There's you're a, a welterweight, yeah. But I think it's welterweight. Is it, it is? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you have a computer right there, Josh. You oh, could yeah. very easily look up <laughs> 135, what weight class <laughs> that is. Sorry, Julia. Yeah. Sorry, I we're just... probably could go to 125, but that mm, that's excessive. That'd be that'd be ten yeah. pounds ten pounds weight. I, so that's one of the things that we've talked to Justin about before that's is a featherweight. how brutal these weight cuts are. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So when he cuts weight, sometimes he's cutting like 30 pounds. Yeah. Is the weight cut different for women when they're going oh. through their camps, getting ready for a fight? Um, I mean, in terms of difficulty, no. I would say okay. there's things that we have to deal with just by being women when it mm. comes to cutting weight. Um, I haven't really cut weight in terms of um, – for like fighting, but I've okay. cut weight for, um, I used to be a bikini competitor. Oh, and really? So when you get down to a certain weight, you know, and you're dieting so heavily, yeah. you know, period stuff kind of, your menstruation, your, your hormones start getting thrown off. Well, now you've got so. Josh's that, that attention. Happened, that yeah. happened to Davey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <And then>. yeah. <laughs> you lost your period? Just threw off my cycle big oh, time. Yeah, it was crazy. Man, I feel you. <laughs> Hey, at least you lose your period sometimes. I hate you, John. And when he got sober, he's just like, he got, he got regular again. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay, so I did want to talk about some of the other stuff that you've done. I didn't even know you were a bikini competitor. Yeah. You also did uh, some pole dancing. Yes. Did that for a little bit. But I had I had a couple other questions about the MMA stuff. Okay, yeah, um, for sure. You talked about how, you know, being an MMA fighter, it's, it's potentially a little easier to break into the sport being a female, mm-hmm. right? But one of the big hot topics right now is uh, trans women oh. <laughs> fighting MMA. And oh. I was just, I was kind of curious. Here's the thing. Look, look, listen. Hold on. Why'd you do it like that? I got a level set. Hold on. Tell me, why'd you do it like that? And I was kind of curious. Uh, <laughs> why'd you do that? <laughs> he did. He did. Right? He did a little help. To, help I did. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm just. I'm trying to be delicate about the delicate's also the wrong word. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Steven yeah, Rosario says, "What's up, Julia? From the one guy who guy you knew from the bar you worked at, and you told me you hated your band director. Oh. Oh. Keeping it vague <laughs> so people don't know, <laughs> doctor." Wow. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> that just got really uncomfortable for all of us all of a sudden. That was that was, was kind of like, weird. I thought he was gonna say that I hated him. Oh, oh yeah. hated my band director. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all right. Did. Well that's I that's did. a little I hope fun my fact. band director isn't watching this. Oh, well, now your band director knows if they are. Yeah. Um you just okay. me. <laughs> so trans fighters. Yes. Look, I think that Julia could beat me up. Like I would be f- afraid as a man to fight Julia. Mm-hmm. I've seen her train. I've watched a lot of your training videos. You're really intense. I don't think I could, I don't think I could win that fight. I don't. Well, I like, mean, in a competitive environment. Either, like but... if it was a street fight, I could take you. But What's like, in a, well, I could bite, gonna scream I could in bite you. <laughs> That's the main thing. He's going to scream in your ear. Yeah. He's going to start scratching me and pull my hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I would use, you know, weapons of some you oh, know that's yeah. fair that so is, street fight i think i could take you but if it was like in the octagon i think you'd 
I'd, I'd think you'd ruin my life. So I wouldn't even want to fight you. But I'm just thinking from the perspective of if a a trans woman were were to fight you or would wanted a fight with you, mm -hmm. would you would you take that fight? Would you fight a trans woman? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. Do you think you'd I mean, win? The the I would hope so. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean the I way mean, you said know, it. I don't ever want to say that I wouldn't. I mean. You know, do you think they would have an advantage? I think, I, obviously, yeah. Okay. There, there would be some sort of advantage. I mean, thankfully, they do go by what weight classes. True. Um, that would be like a scrawny, well, I don't want to. Not really. really. 135 well, it, well, pounds, if Josh? A, if it's yeah. a short, if they're short. If yeah. it's a short. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> this is, is like going to be on the internet forever. Better. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, <laughs> if it's an ugly short, I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, bo bones are denser. Don't talk about Justin like that. <laughs> Justin Governall is our friend. You do not call oh, him a short. No, not Justin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's oh say God. like if ju ju Justin transitioned. He, oh. He, oh, absolutely not. Well, that's what I'm saying though. But he like like his men's bones are denser. Oh yeah, yeah for that's sure. Not gonna, for you sure. Know what I mean, so I mean, but automatically you hit harder. I don't know. I think Justin might let you win. Actually, <laughs> if, if Justin was fighting you. <laughs> He would, he would let you choke him out for sure. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I, I feel like it. I know Justin pretty well. He'd enjoy it. <laughs> he would. He would probably ask me. <laughs> he just lay down. He just in the leans cage. into the choke. He sinks it in for you. He's like, no, no, no. Put, put your, put your forearm right there. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever, have you ever seen that meme uh, about how to choke someone? Uh, -uh. uh and it was like a choking tutorial it was like no. please explain please explain context for these tutorials i just made my jujitsu partner come uh <gasps> yeah but that that was actually one of my buddies shane smith that created that that meme and that oh, was it was perfect. really popular for a little while perfect. anyways that was that. that was a weird diversion anywho so you would you would fight a trans woman yeah okay i mean uh, yeah question mark maybe yeah, i guess I mean, it depends i think it really depends David, would you fight a trans woman what, a trans woman? Yeah. I would be fighting a trans man. No, would you fight a trans woman, I'm asking you. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> What's wrong? It's a, it's a sanctioned fight. Between me and a Fili trans woman? Deep in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> of you and a trans woman from the Philippines. Yeah, I would do it. Yeah, I would do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't think I would fight a, a trans man, though. Why? Why? I would be afraid of getting beat. Like, Would you fight is, a what man? What would that say about me? Would you fight anybody? Like a sanctioned fight, like a mm -hmm. like a refereed fight. Yeah, I don't even know, honestly. One one of my friends said that I should do like these backyard brawl things. He's like, oh, I'll coach you. Oh my gosh, you could her. do it. And I was just like, I, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to get hit. Is but I like really don't want to get hit by like a trans man and get and just get knocked out cold. You know what I mean? Like that would that would be a little bit of a blow to my ego. Yeah, that would be a little embarrassing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, you don't At that. least, hey, Sounds listen, like if, I, if, if I lost, I could just be like, this is fair. That's right, yeah, yeah. This then you could go on a crusade <laughs> about yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. I couldn't. I couldn't. It'd be like, well, clearly he had an advantage as a as a trans. They didn't have an advantage as a trans man. I just got my ass kicked, you know? <laughs> That's so true. It'd be a real bummer. <laughs> Davey wants to protect his face, is what they said. Well, that's true, too. Pretty face. Well, thank you. Thank you, Julia. No, I, I used to get into a lot of fights. I did. Um, I've had my eye socket broken. I've had Who my, my you jaw broken. Fights with? Oh, just, you know, people. He was you a, were homeschooled. He was, just, he was a bigger dude. <laughs> okay. You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, who are you getting into It's not nice. With? Well, I mean, like bar fights. I would get into a oh. lot of bar fights. Davey was a bad boy at one time. Ooh. Well, I wouldn't call myself a bad boy. I was a, I, I mean. A villain. Obviously, I've always been an alpha. Oh, my so God. So there's always, uh, that's always uh, been. Uh, okay, uh, I don't need you laughing at that. Uh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Yeah, perfectly timed, Josh. Still hate you for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I don't think. I mean, I'm just. I, I'm 39. I'm too old to do that. I just, you know, and I've been concussed multiple times. I feel like if someone, if I, even if I didn't get hit that hard, I feel like I would still get concussed. You know. Oh, you're punch you strong. Weak, you got a soft chin. Pun yeah. Well. Is it, doesn't your body after a while, if you got not, get knocked out a few times to protect your brain, you yeah. get knocked out easier? Uh -huh. And is, is that's punch, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's punch mm -hmm. drunk or something like that. Oh, is that right? what it, I don't is think it? that's what that is. No, Josh, no. Okay, I don't think so. Once again, you have a computer. You could look it up if you'd like to. I've heard about it. Um, but yeah, I I think I would. Uh, yeah, I've had like four or five concussions. 
job. So I feel like, yeah. yeah, it would just, it would just not be good for me. My brain, I already have enough trouble making my brain work correctly as it is. Yeah. And just getting repeatedly punched in the face. I feel like that wouldn't help. Yeah. So. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough about me and my fighting aspirations. I don't think, this isn't a fun conversation for me. This game hurts my feelings. Um, okay, so you're doing the MMA stuff now, mm -hmm. but you, you've also, you had so many other side projects. Yeah. So the pole dancing, are you still doing the pole dancing? Uh, very occasionally. Honestly, okay. I'm just so obsessed with fighting. I do occasionally will go in for like a class, but um, usually my body's just so beat up. Yeah. That, yeah, well, I mean, hurts. I don't know how. You're taking I don't some know how punishment some of those in those gyms. What the oh the, the, pole, the pole dancing? dancing? Hell yeah, that shit hurts. I mean, we've had quite a few spicy dancers on this podcast. I know, and uh, they're respect. athletes. They're athletes, Absolutely. dude. Absolutely, they really are. Yes, they I are. Mean, you know, here's this is kind of interesting actually. Um, a lot of the spicy dancers that I've talked to, they don't like the, you know, recreational pole dancers or amateur really? pole dancers or whatever really? you call it. Yeah. Yeah, they think it's appropriating, you know, their their work essentially. Hey, you should fight them. Ooh, <laughs> that's a great call, Josh. I just think that's very interesting. I think that's very interesting. I, I think love that idea. <laughs> I mean, you fighting a spicy dancer that's upset about your amateur pole dancing? That's fine. I can't. I mean, have you ever professionally danced? No. Never. No. Professionally, okay. no. Okay. No, it's just been for fun. Yeah. Okay. I have at one point wanted to um, pursue like competitive pole dancing, oh. um, but I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. So that's why I find it kind of interesting um, when I hear that it's appropriating. I mean, I'm sure dancer. not every spicy dancer feels that way. I feel like it's, it's two different things. It's almost like contemporary, oh, not contemporary dancing, but um, it's more of like an art form when you're doing like right. competitive pole dancing. Right. Um, True. But at the same time, Versus for them, like an, it's an, work. An, Davey, it's a that, job. Oh, yeah. That could you know? be you, Davy. What? Right there. That could be you. <laughs> <laughs> See, not Is that on the screen, dirty, Josh? Yeah. but a competitive sport. <laughs> look, look at look, look at Davy. Wow, that. that guy's wearing a lot of eyeliner. I would pay. You, but look to at that. That's that. one arm, and then the other one's on the ground. I mean, did did I ever did I ever uh, tell the story on this podcast about the time that I did do a pole dance? You did. Yeah. Is there videos? No. Thank oh. God. Thank God. Did I ever tell that story on here, Josh? No, I don't think so. Well, okay. So this was a long time ago, right? Uh, every Everyone knows I'm sober now, right? Mm -hmm. But this was during a time in my life when I was very much not sober. Um, and a, a bunch of friends, I, I went out with a bunch of friends one night. We got really, really wasted. And then we ended up at a spicy club. And it was kind of a slow night at the Spicy Club, but we were partying pretty hard. We were all sitting at a table, and we were sitting right next to uh, the stage. And this this particular Spicy Club had an exceptionally tall pole, right? Okay. Okay. So we're sitting there. We're having a good time. Uh, I don't really know what came over me, but I decided that it was my turn. It was my time to shoot my shot. And so I, uh, I made a break for the stage. Uh, or made a run for the stage during a break between dancers and climbed all the way up that pole, got to the top. Oh. And I was, I don't remember a whole lot about this, quite honestly, but I distinctly remember being at the top of the pole and thinking, what am I doing up here? This was Davey right here. Oh, do we have another picture? Yeah. That, <laughs> that was Davey. I, I think I actually was wearing leopard pants, snow leopard you pants. Excuse me. That's impressive. You climbed all the way up to the pole. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just shimmied up it, you know? Uh, oh, like but I don't, I don't really remember running to the stage, but my okay. friends, my friends said that I just yelled amateur night and then ran to the stage and climbed right up. Oh, right. You were making your debut. I was, mm. I was shooting my shot. Oh. So I get to the top of the pole. And like, like I said, that's the moment that I remember thinking like, what am I doing up here? And I was like, I don't know any pole tricks. So you know what? I'm just going to do something easy. I'll flip upside down and then just kind of slide down the pole. Right. Real um, yeah, 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 very, very. All the men yeah. at the club will love yeah. this. <laughs> he was like, ladies, this is how you make money. That's it, right. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Well, what I didn't realize was in order to get the proper grip on a pole, you really can't be wearing pants. And I was actually wearing jeans. And so when I flipped upside down, I had my legs wrapped around the pole, but when I let go of the pole, I, oh my. I mean, <gasps> it, I... When I say I <laughs> flew tore, down that pole, yeah, it was like I was shot out of a cannon down that pole. And like I said, it was an exceptionally tall pole. And I went all the way down, like hit the stage with my face. 
And then my legs, like, kind of squirpioned over the top and, and touched the stage, like, in front of me or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty embarrassing. I was pretty sore the next day. I think I'm fortunate I didn't break my neck, honestly. Did I think they, they kick you out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, the, I mean, the DJ, you know what was really disrespectful? What? what was really disrespectful is that when I hit the stage, the DJ stopped all the music in the entire <laughs> club <laughs> yeah. and then said over the loudspeaker, hey, Nickelback, you okay? <gasps> yeah, oh, that was rude. That was rude. Oh, that was man. great. No, that was extremely that was rude, great, Josh. Man. That For that DJ? Good. No, he that's, doesn't get an applause. That rate. For, that's ridiculous. That we you're obviously ridiculous. See. I'm changing your how, how, to Nickelback <laughs> now. <laughs> how upset if between comics... Somebody just ran up on stage and climbed up a pole and fell. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone just ran up on stage between comics and then face planted and we all called him Nickelback? That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you should do. Like he was, he was in the right. Oh, okay. I thought you meant I should run up on stage between comics. No, no, no. And no. face plant. No, no, no. What okay. he did was correct. Okay. Well, I, you know, I really can't even fault him because that was pretty. I mean, that was pretty uh, disrespectful on my part, honestly. It's pretty quick for him to. Get that Nickelback. The, uh, the Nickelback yeah, reference? Yeah, yeah, no, it was uh, it was well-timed, well-played on his part. <laughs> Did you ever see the, I think it was Miami, the girl that climbed all the way up. It was like a huge That's her right pole. Here. What? Foot yes, drop. and she oh, fell. Oh, no. She, what did she, she broke something. She but she kept dancing. The video says she kept dancing. Can we play it, Josh? I think she broke. Oh, I don't know. That's up to you. Um. Okay, so this is, actually, yeah, I don't know if we can play this. It looks like it got taken down, actually. But she w she had a 15 foot drop, is what the article says. Something. But crazy then just like kept that. dancing. She she slammed <laughs> straight down. While many on Twitter applauded the dancer for continuing her routine after the fall, the viral video also ignited a conversation around labor rights <laughs> for spicy dancer. Hey, well, they you didn't know what? Force hey, it always her. has to be one person. They didn't force her. They people forget these are artists. They're That's gonna true. Finish their set. That's true. So. I mean, I Josh, fall? how many times have you been bombing on stage and you just powered through the end? Not as many okay. as you. Hey, no, 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 easy, no. buddy. <laughs> this is a good question for that. So considering fighters, should we receive health care? I mean, we're going in there to get beat up. That's our job. But yeah. I think fighters should be compensated for the, well, the I damage think, that they take and, and I think it should know, be available to y'all. entertainment. Definitely think it should be available to y'all. But, I mean, even people with a regular corporate job, like, they get... Health insurance, right? Right. They still Ooh. have to pay for it. You right. Should, you should fight you know? for it. Uh, fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go fight everyone. She's going to fight all fight those Fight the old CEO white of Blue Cross <laughs> Blue Shield if you can for beat my up, health insurance. If you can beat up the insurance agent, yeah. you get health care. <laughs> mm. I like that. That's a really Perfect. good idea, Come here, Josh. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea. Uh, I think perfect. it's good. Yeah. So you did the pole dancing stuff. Mm hmm. You also did uh, bikini competitions. Yes. So how'd that go? Ooh. Um, I prepped for, so I was in my first show. I did one show and then um, it was, it was really dark. There's a lot of, you know, stuff really that dark? goes, yeah, really? it was a horrible experience, horrible, horrible, Interesting. horrible mental the the physical it was absolutely awful but everybody um, everybody's starving and in a bad mood yeah, yeah. your hormones i thought she was just, just talking about the spray tanning was dark because i mean they do <laughs> that i <too>. mean <laughs> they put on a yeah. heavy layer of spray tan it's almost problematic in my yeah. opinion it is yeah. a little bit mm -hmm. i mean that's kind of it's like black body i mean they do bit. it so you can see that what do they say you can see the muscle striations or what Correct. is that what yeah. it's called I, and i i get it i get it but still it's if we're going to be consistent Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to do that. Well, you don't, you don't have to do the, the, the bronze tanner. You can take a pill. There's a pill you can take and it makes you uh, darker. Darker? Yeah. <laughs> never heard of it? No. Oh, I've yeah, never yeah. heard of that. That also seems very problematic yeah. to me. Is that a you know? That can't be a thing. Uh huh. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, Is it so. Permanent? Yeah. So it was, it was not a. A good experience for you and that's oh. why you only did the one competition yeah the body dysmorphia <clears throat> oh well, really I did. I, I was that the worst one. part of it for you yeah the body dysmorphia the eating disorders okay um yeah it was horrible the after effects but i was a month away from my competition and i got um cervical cancer 
or oh, I didn't okay. just get cervical cancer, but, um, you found out you had yes, it. Yes. Yes. How yeah. scary. So I was a month away. Um, probably one of the hardest preps I had ever went through just mm. mentally drained and, um, yeah, had to pull out of the show last minute at the time I was on gear. So, um, Oh really? I didn't cycle off of it. So psychologically, and then my body started freaking out. I gained a lot of weight. Um, the acne, it was horrible. My mental state was awful. And then going through like the surgery that I went through, it was just, it took me a very, very, very long time. And this was 2019 end of 2019. Wow. So then we got got like catapulted straight into COVID the panorama. Yeah. 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 The panorama. Yeah, well, yeah, we we have to <laughs> we have to use panorama. yeah yeah or yeah. or the pandy. A lot of yeah, people call the, it the pandy. Like that, the it's a cute one. Yeah, it's a cute one. It's how cute. do you, how do you say this word here? This is what huh? it was. Not melatonin. Melanotin. Me melanotan. Melanotan. Yeah. I mean, I guess we have no the name makes now. sense. Mel melanotan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's huh, the one that that uh, can uh, make just you turn your whole your whole body dark. Well, you don't you don't get dark dark, but it does make you. So I don't have the tan. You, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, you just get a really. That can't be good for you though. Really, it makes yeah. your body. <laughs> really, it makes your body produce more uh, melanin. Where huh. do I get that? Interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's legal and there's side effects. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't. Wouldn't try it. I mean, you. You really? obviously did some. I mean, you did cycles, right? Mm -hmm. While you were while you were training for this, and you saw yeah. you, can get you experienced how difficult that can be on your body. Oh yeah. Oh, you can get and how great it can be at the same time. <laughs> Okay. You'll get it's uh, great. Uh, erectile dysfunction. Uh, oh, oh no, Julia, you can. <laughs> uh, oh no. Uh, rosacea. Yikes. Uh, fibromyalgia. Okay, Josh, you're just reading off side effects now. Yeah. This uh, isn't compelling well, stuff. I dude. was just, I was just worried she's gonna take it off of my uh, record. I already took oh, it. Oh, and you would be <laughs> responsible for <laughs> that. Yeah. I already ordered it. Oh, is it's that coming. for the the tanning? Oh, pill. it's a shot. It's not a pill. It's a shot. You know what? I actually have heard about that. One of my friends in Nebraska took it, and they got dark. Yeah. Really? Like, so now you're not friends with them anymore? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! No! No! Not because no. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh That's been our show. <laughs> Davey's been canceled. That's what it's all been about this the entire time. The internet is forever. <laughs> they canceled no, Davey. No, no. Done, no. I was I was done. talking <laughs> about their problematic behavior of making Who's their skin artificially dark. That though that. I almost said those people. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming out. That person that I knew from Nebraska okay. made their skin artificially okay. dark. And yes. I don't think that's okay. Well, it wasn't artificial. Like it. it was their body was producing it. Mm. The, the shot didn't make them darker. The shot made their body produce melanin that made them darker. No, well, I'm just saying, like, mm -hmm. I don't think they should do that. You know, you should have the body, skin color that choice. God gave you, Josh. Wow, what a bigot. Okay. <laughs> be the opposite of a bigot. <laughs> no. Nope. You know what? We so got to get off I of this. Should I not be tanning? We got to get off of it. Well, that's a good question. Yeah, it's um, probably, uh, tanning's also, you can get, you know, different things. I, I mean, know, obviously, pick, pick yeah. Poison. You could get you could get skin cancer mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. from tanning. So maybe God doesn't want us tanning. Maybe he just wants us to be happy with the, the way our skin so is. So I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I don't wear suntan lotion. But I don't go out in the oh. sun more than 30 minutes at a time. So, yeah. You don't wear sunscreen? Uh, I'm not going to say it on here because then they'll take your video okay. off. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank but, you so much. Uh, I don't know. Putting chemicals all over your face and your body all the time like that. that and mm. powerful chemicals. Yeah. Block the UV. Like, that. what is it? What is it doing to me long term? Yeah. What's seeping into your pores? Yeah. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you wear, good, like, like actual deodorant uh like real deodorant i tried getting off i tried using tom's without <laughs> tried getting the off. silver <laughs> I, I tried getting off but i'm just i just there's i have a stench yeah i have a stench i need mm -hmm. i need the one that's like 48 hour protection yeah so it's for other people right no yeah so it's, my it's, mind it's, goes you're being considerate but also mm -hmm. i used to smoke out of foil so that would probably do it before the oh. deodorant oh. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Interesting. Right. interesting. Yeah. Let's, let's go back to that yeah. Let's later. not talk about <laughs> any of this stuff that Josh is bringing up. Julia, I apologize. No, he I just love goes it. off on these crazy tangents, and um, well, then don't ask me. I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> I figured maybe we could just have a normal conversation about it. Never. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, okay, so 
no more bikini competitions because obviously no. that just that that just wasn't good for you. I mean, I'm yeah, sure there's me, people for me that. Personally. But you for know, I've, I've known uh, I've known a couple folks that have that have done that, and and I hear a lot of the same stories. Yeah, the mental, the mental. Yeah, stuff. Uh, about yeah. how miserable it makes them. Yeah. And and once they go back to you know a normal workout routine, normal eating habits, mm-hmm. a normal weight and figure, mm-hmm. they're just so much happier mm-hmm. at that point. Yep. And that's been your experience too. Oh, a thousand percent. It took me a long time to get to that point too. Okay. So well, I'll never do it again. Well, but, we're, yeah. we're, we're glad that, uh, you know, you're not hurting yourself anymore Thank, with well, extreme workouts like that. Oh, and also that you survived not. cervical cancer. Hmm. My God, it's a really serious deal. Yeah. Yeah. And look at you now. I, I never would have known. <laughs> Not to, I, don't, I don't know. And now, I don't, and now look at you. Oh, look, You're I'm here. here. Look on my your, show. I'm look alive. at your cervix <laughs> now. It's just it's, a. It's just <laughs> it's chugging along. <laughs> wow. Oh, nobody's ever said that. I don't think. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. So <laughs> let's go back to the MMA fighting because this is. This is just not going the direction that I wanted circle. to. I just keep. I. I'm really putting my foot in my mouth on this episode. I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, is Mercury it. back in retrograde or something? Is why is everybody saying that? Everybody because it was that. in hey, retrograde listen. for a while. Mercury is in retrograde, and the moon's on the left side. And Josh, what is yeah. your sign? Virgo. You're yeah. such a Virgo. <laughs> You're such a Virgo. You really are. Yeah, such a Virgo. Number one in serial killers. <laughs> I think that's. Wait, Pisces. I thought that was Gemini. Thirty-three percent of Virgo. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Pisces and Sagittarius. Uh, and Gemini are the other three. I what? knew Gemini was in there. I knew Gemini. I'm a Pisces, was. so I just automatically assumed it was us. Like those four, those four account for I think eighty or ninety percent of serial killers. I believe it. Wow. Yeah. I bet you there's no Leo serial killers because we're the best at serial killing. <laughs> no, at just at being people. No, oh, I meant okay. or you're the best serial killers. You never get caught. Ooh, that's a really good. No, I've never, you know, I've, that's never Virgo been. Virgo like, is just the shittiest serial killer because <laughs> we want to be known for what we're good at. You know what I mean? <laughs> Recognize me. <laughs> Recognize me. Come on. Look how good did I did it. Did you see how good I killed that yeah. person? It's been 40 people. Oh, no, look at that clean No cut. one's saying anything. <laughs> uh, I swear Josh is the Rainy Street Ripper. I no, swear. I'm Have you all ever thought about, like, how you would hide a dead body? Whoa, God. Julia. <laughs> First of all, you don't hide, you get rid of. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, Virgos, I am, listen. I am very much on the outside with this conversation. No, you know what? I have thought about that. I'm saying it's... I like I like uh, the way they did it on Snatch with the pig farm. That was smart. I, that's literally yeah. my way I'd kill somebody. There you go. Really? Pig, pig farm. Mm-hmm. Just throw them to the so pigs? So I can't remember which serial killer oh, it was. Oh, I don't kill, I dispose. That's totally okay, there different. you go. <laughs> He's an, ex- what is it, accessory? You accessory? didn't ask me how I'd kill him, just about how I'd dispose of the body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The killing part is really complex. It's a whole thing. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there was that serial killer that didn't get caught for years because he had a pig farm. Mm-hmm. And so they basically knew it was him, but they would go and they would try to find the, using the UV lights to try to find blood. But he had a, like he would slaughter these pigs. So the blood mm. was all mixed up and then he would chop the bodies up, feed them to the pigs. The pigs would eat everything. Bones, bones and all. too, yeah. Bones and mm-hmm. all. I think they caught him because they found, I think he like kept like the jewelry of like women or something so oh they always have to keep a prize like, don't think, they yeah i think it was like his wife ended up finding like a stash. that's the one that always annoys me that's yeah. the one that always it's just Something like so get, get, don't just don't why are you keeping prizes yeah, yeah. your little trophies you yeah. nerd yeah. you know let it go yeah you kill yeah. be a normal Jeez. serial killer <laughs> yeah no if I, if I was a serial killer i wouldn't do it that way i would do it maybe with a pandy a mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean just get rid of a whole bunch of them at oh. once yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Josh is moving to China. I think yeah. is oh. what he's implying there. No, it's gonna be homegrown. Oh, nice. <laughs> Josh, unbelievable. <laughs> he's gonna be cooking it up in his kitchen. I, I, I can say that. I didn't say anything bad. I I don't know what got into you today, Josh. Yeah, yeah. but I think it's Julia. I think you are having an effect on Josh right now because he's usually pretty subdued, but today he's just all over the place. Wow, I only took you? one edible. Oh, is yeah. that what it was? Yeah, yeah. I okay. usually take two. Don't let him dim your light. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Great. You're doing great. Yeah. Don't no. Davy, we're on to you today. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> it's your turn. Nice. <laughs> it's always my. It's literally it? always my. I guarantee. You, go through the chat right now. I'm yeah. getting roasted. Yeah, am <laughs> I getting roasted right now? A little bit. For sure. Yeah, of course. A little bit. 
<sighs> Anyways, um, okay, so one of the, like, like here, here's, so we talked a little bit about the MMA fighting and mm -hmm. how it's, um, you know, it can be easier for females to break in, mm -hmm. but you do operate in a very male dominated sport. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yes. So I, I, I've, I've been friends with some other female fighters. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had one that actually fought in Bellator. Oh. Uh, she was a, a pretty big fighter for Bellator. Um, and some of the stories that she told me about what she had to deal with. Oh yeah. Like in the gyms, yeah. in the competitions. It was it was pretty crazy. Absolutely. Um, can you can you share anything about that? About your experience with potentially what you had to deal with or some of the difficulties that, that you faced? I would say well, I mean, number one, people just don't take you seriously mm. as um, you know, being a woman. Um I mean, in terms of like training at the gym, a lot of these guys are bigger than me, so yeah. I get beat up a lot more. Um, Cause they don't take it easy on you, right? Uh, no, for the most part, no. <sighs> yeah. I mean, Josh, yeah. would you take it easy on her? Like if you were sparring with Julia, mm -hmm. you know, would you, would you throw your hardest punches and kicks? Well, you're sparring, so you're not supposed to throw your hardest punch into okay. kicks. Yeah, actually. But no, I would not Whatever. pull back because we are equals in the same art. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Also, I've always <laughs> wanted to hit a girl. As hard as See, I, could. I swear, they're like, I can't, I it's can't hit so my wife at now. home, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. gonna hit this bitch in the. Whoa! Oh, sorry. I can't, I can't come. No, you can. No, you oh, can. I can't. Oh, thank yeah. God, I was well, holding it back. Well, I mean, not you know what I did right now? Not gratuitously. Okay. Thank you for holding back because okay. you know who doesn't hold back is Josh. Producer Josh oh, knows what the rule <laughs> is, and he's the worst offender. It's yeah, unreal. Uh, I, I felt like I made you say that. That was very <laughs> <laughs> You did it with your mind. <laughs> you, you triggered me a little yeah, yeah, yeah. bit. <laughs> y'all really have like, I feel like y'all cycle synced up a little bit yeah. during this podcast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think y'all are kind of mind melting. You're just mad because I'm regular and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of the crash diets, Josh. Is out that there. what it was? Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you always got yeasties? Is that why? <laughs> He'd always come in and be like, I got a yeasty today. I'm like, that's so a yeasty. gross. Yeah. That's 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 the cute way to say it. <laughs> I get so many UTIs. It is crazy. <laughs> oh. You should probably get that checked out. Yeah. <laughs> I should. Your pH but I won't. balance is off. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, obviously there's there's the uh the aspect of of dealing with you know, um training with men mm -hmm. who yeah, they're a lot bigger than you. They yeah. hit harder. Yeah, you um, just have to prove yourself a lot more. You have to mm. you have to prove yourself as a woman. Yeah, are that there, you can take it and that you but can handle. Also, it. they don't want to lose to a, a woman. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you, if I even tag a guy, yeah, he will come at me twenty million times harder just because it bruises his ego. Yeah, mm, that's yeah, kind of interesting. So I deal with that a lot too. Um, so if I get a good shot on him or I submit a guy like in um, jujitsu, oh, it pisses him off. It gets him so mad. They're just gonna. Beat the hell out of you next yeah. time. Yeah, they're like, all right, bitch. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man, I would think people like just you know you're training, <laughs> like big deal. Yeah, get over it. Yeah, yeah right. Get over it. It's what are you talking about? You just said before I could never fight a trans man because... in a sanctioned fight, Josh. Because if I lost, <laughs> it would be very embarrassing for That's me. That's exactly what you're saying. No, the same thing. she's talking about training right now. Training's different. Oh, I'd be okay. fine with training. Yeah. Nobody saw training. I'd let Casual. Julia hit me in the face and wouldn't have to, you know. Let she do it and you wouldn't let her. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. You're tall, though. I am. I'd I'm pretty to, tall. I'd have to reach. I mean, I had a girl roundhouse kick me in the face one time. Oh, that's And good. choke you out. And Yeah, that happened, too. I've been choked out. I've been roundhouse kicked in the face by a girl. Mm. Um, the roundhouse kick and, in the face was... And those are the consensual ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the roundhouse kick in the face was not consensual. Oh, it wasn't? No, I was... I was... Once again, I was... I'd been imbibing a bit. Um, and she just... Uh, she really caught me in the chin. Mm. Uh, with her heel, it was Ooh. it hurt. With her heel, yeah, it hurt. It Ooh. hurt. She was balancing on one heel and kicked you with the other. Mm -hmm. Nice. It was like a. I said roundhouse, but it actually might have been like a spinning back kick or something. I don't know. It was a fancy kick, and she landed it real clean. That's and it it hot. hurt quite a bit. Yeah, mm. it was. It's hot. <laughs> in heels. Sometimes I think about that. I'm like, if I ever got into a bar fight, would I be able to like teep somebody in heels? Oh wait, yeah. what what, what was that oh, word? A teep. Like Teep? kick, like kick them straight, you know, like oh, like in the balls. No, no. Ooh, like in if the you stomach. Just, if you had or... heels on and oh, you just okay. Anderson Silva somebody with a straight kick. Yeah, just 
And then yeah. the heel gets stuck in there. Oh, right. Wall. And the stiletto. Yeah. yeah. I'm over here like doing that the motion cool. under the table like you can see me. <laughs> <laughs> Does this make sense? Okay, no, that's no. what you're doing. I didn't realize Show. what that was. <laughs> you, you guys stand <laughs> right there. Absolutely not. No and way. And kick Davey in the head. Oh, oh well. <laughs> He 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 got he, he got spanked right here before. That's Are a little really? different. Uh, I got whipped with a gag uh, on, what with a gag with a ball gag. Was this? <laughs> 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 Asking for a friend. Yeah, what and I need to research for it? science. And then I held the door just so my family doesn't come in. Yeah, yeah. Josh. Perfect. Josh was really nervous about his children walking in uh to the image of me with a ball gag in my mouth yeah, yeah. which is that's could, fair could never explain that, that. No. Could never explain that <laughs> uh i also got i got uh i got shocked with a dog collar yep a few times that, that was, was fun, fun. Mm -hmm. oh. i don't uh he vomited too yeah i did vomit yeah i just i i actually thought about like i wonder if i could let julia punch me in the stomach on the live stream oh that would be fun not for Bare me knuckle yeah, that yeah. I, mean, I have a you glove know, I too. Actually keep you have all, a glove? I, I keep gloves. all my gear in my car. <sighs> all my equipment. You have you have gloves here, Josh? Yeah, I have gloves. Because I don't want you to have to it's get a, up and a, go out a, to the it's car. A, it's and a, stuff. a sixteen ounce boxing glove. Hmm. And then that way she can punch you as hard as she can because it's a sixteen ounce boxing. I glove. feel like it would still really hurt. Oh yes, it is. It's going to. <laughs> But do it for do it for the fans. Chug a Sprite while you do it. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> At the same time. No, I did not bring Sprite today. We go, are not doing a Sprite glow. challenge. Today. I was wondering. That one, that 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 actually did that that would hurt. That would hurt a lot. I don't think I could I could do that. Okay, so Josh is going to get a boxing glove. Oh apparently, God. this was not planned. I I did think about it. Clearly, Josh had the same idea. As soon as he heard you were an MMA fighter, I knew he was acting a little bit strange. I knew that's what mm -hmm. that's what was happening here, uh, and I think he's been thinking about this the entire time. Perfect. But he and I didn't talk about this before the episode. I wasn't okay. even going to bring it up because I really just don't want to get punched. And I'm like trying to think about it right now. Like, I mean, I don't even have pads on or anything. Isn't that going to hurt a lot? Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. <sighs> uh, mm. I mean, <laughs> do you think like the face or the stomach? I would love to hit you in the face, but. Probably the stomach. I mean, but, but don't like you right think that the would? Liver? No, that's what I'm saying. I feel like yeah. that would hurt even more. Yeah, absolutely. Like I mean, the I'm not solar plexus. Lie. Yeah. And you hit hard. I've watched you. I've watched you punch. Well. I've watched you train. Watch me do like the worst form ever. I maybe if I have you sit down so you can't torque into it. Oh, that's just cheating. I'm j well. I don't. I also. I, I have don't, to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw up. Mm. I don't want to get knocked out on my own okay, live well, stream. Don't, you know, you know what I mean? I don't think it'll be that bad. I wonder where Josh I'm went. just trying to hide. He's you just up a gone. Bit. He's gone. I have my, I, I can give him my car keys. All he has to do is pop my trunk. And they're sitting right there. I mean, he seemed like he really knew where that boxing glove was almost like, is it one glove? Just one singular boxing glove. I don't know. Can I like do some pop? pop? Uh, some, no, like, no, it's gonna be no, it's gonna one? be one. Those good are not punch. sixteen ounces. <laughs> Josh, those are tiny. So, uh, so there's I, like uh, zero padding. So there's sixteen ounce together. <laughs> <laughs> so it's two eight ounce gloves. So uh, yeah, that let's, really let's get this done. See, that really right seems like left. it's gonna hurt. Or you want both? How big is that glove? Can I see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those bring kids it, bring it over to her. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, that there's no. Let me see. Oh my that, Josh. goodness! There's no padding in this, Josh. There's literally nothing in it. Oh, that's little. I don't even know if my hand will fit. You use your hand in it. I don't think my hand will fit in that. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to close my fist. I actually kind of like that better. Because like my fingertips you could make a are full at, fist. The, at the top of the glove already. Well, I, I guess. You trying to break uh, my hand? I don't even know if I want to do that though, Josh. Like for real. I don't know if I want to get punched right now. So she if I punches give you, hard. If I give you my car keys, you can just pop my trunk and my gloves are sitting right there. Wait, how thick are so, your gloves? 14 ounces. Like each glove is 14 ounces or is this a combined 14 ounce? Oh no, one glove is 14 One glove ounces. is 14 yeah. ounces? Okay. So my key right there, it's a little black little purse. Yeah. So you just grab that whole thing. And then, yeah, just unlock it. <sighs> or it should have the, it should just pop the trunk. I'm not it. promising that I'm going to do this yet. Watch me do the worst form. Like, I am not promising anything. Okay. Okay. I want to see the glove. I want to be able to examine For, it. He can bring both of them. Yeah, he'll bring both of them. Okay, cool. 
Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, so lefty. You have to throw a southpaw. Why? Yeah, because, Julia. That's not fun. I know how hard you hit. You don't know that. I do. I've watched you, you hit that. bags. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to know. You don't know that. No, you don't know no it yet. one's going to no. know. I um, probably won't even punch you that hard. So, Well, no, I want you to, like, I don't want you to, you know, wuss out on it. Okay. I want you to throw a real punch. Okay. So you know what I mean? Maybe you want to do a kick Damn, you brought my shin guards? Just one. Maybe okay. you want to do a kick. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're pink, dude. Yeah, look I'm gonna get punched are. with a pink glove. I told her. I told her she's got to go lefty. I feel like that's the only way the I can there's, there's legitimately do this. Oh yeah, those. Yeah. Wow, Josh, these are first of all tiny, and that would that would have hurt a lot. You're trying to get me injured, Josh. No, not at all. That's hilarious. You're not a you're you're a fake friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll just do like a. I'll, I'll go around to that side and let her hit me left-handed. I say uh, you guys should do it this left -handed. side. Left-handed. I'm doing do my right side. hand. Do I'm doing a right side, hook. And I'll okay. turn my camera. Okay. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead and, and put the gloves on then, Julia? Uh, I can't believe we're doing this. See, look, David Harris left a comment. This is how Houdini got unalived. Yeah, yeah dude. You're not Houdini. No, I'm not Houdini. Exactly. I don't have the core strength that Houdini even had. No, not even close. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, he wasn't ready. How do I get ready for something like that? I gotta be able to take my stomach. headphones off before I put these. Yeah, oh yeah, you're gonna have to take the headphones off, and I'll take mine off too. We're doing um, this right now. Yeah, I mean, we right might here, as well. Right here, right now. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, it seems like a good finale. Yeah. Uh, this is great. Ooh. This is wonderful. Uh, it's gonna be perfect. Okay. This right there. Okay. This is kind of my well, nightmare well, well, right well, now. Well, just in case you can't talk, what shows? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have uh, coming up? Oh man, I've got <laughs> just in case we have to wire your jaw shut after this. Um, I've got uh, the special is going to mm -hmm. be on September 20th at the Blind Tiger, uh, May 26th, doing a show with uh, my good buddy Eric Schwartz at Sam's Burger Joint. Nice. That's going to be really exciting. And then, um, man, there's a bunch of stuff that's coming up that I just cannot even remember right now. Oh, you know what? Doing the homegrown show at the LOL. Oh yeah. Um, on what day is that? I don't know what day it is. Mm -hmm. So there's that. I think it's May 25th. Actually, yeah, May 25th is Homegrown. May 26th is Eric Schwartz at Sam's Burger Joint, and then I believe May 27th I'll be doing a show with uh, my good friend Dallas Van uh, for his uh, Grand Slam show at the Blind Tiger. Yep. Yeah. What do you got coming up, Josh? Uh, coming up, I got uh, every Tuesday, Creek in the Cave in Austin, Texas. Check out Onslaught. That's yeah. 10 p.m. New lineups every week. And then uh, this Friday, Feed the Funny 11th anniversary. All proceeds or profits go to the San Antonio Food Bank. So come really check that out. Really exciting stuff. Uh, Feed the Funny at the Blind Tiger Comedy Club Friday at 10 p.m. Love it. And then uh, Julia... Where can they uh, follow you on social media? Um, I really just do Instagram. So at Julia.Kins. So J-U-L-I-A dot K-I-N-S. Perfect. And now we're going to do this punch, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess ha! Okay. It go ahead. Why don't, Josh, right can, you get, can you get Julia into position so she's on camera correctly? Uh, yeah. If you, just, if you just come over here, you'll be on camera. Mm. Okay. All right. Oh. So... Uh, in this corner, we uh, have Julia with the pink where gloves. Do I, where do I stand so that it's on camera, Josh? Uh, you can see it right here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does, it, does this work? Yeah, that works. And over here with the checkered shoes. Wait, oh. <laughs> Wearing no underwear. Davy right. Jackson. Wait, do, do, okay, so is she still on camera? Yeah. Okay, so. You want me to do left? Oh, you want that, me to do just, left? That's a tap? That was, that was a little, yeah, little I do baby want you bump. to do left. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Why do my balls hurt? <laughs> I don't Ready? like this. Just breathe. Just breathe. Ah, you got like it. This. You got I'll it. I'll just do one jab. How about that? Got do do a couple. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. Just a jab? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, like a, you um, barely hit you. Oh, Come on. Nothing. People are gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Uh, Wait. How hard was that? Like. Like on a power scale, how hard was that? Maybe like was it sixty percent? Sixty percent. Go go eighty five. <laughs> wait, 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 which side is my liver on? It's on both sides. Yeah. 
Here, do this. Like you gotta do this. Hook? Arms, no. be arms behind your head. Okay, yeah, come on. And harden you your, you your hips. Punch me first. You know I don't want to punch you. <laughs> <Your mouth. laughs> Ready? Ready? No, ah, uh, no. Come on. Do it. Okay. Want me to kick you? No, I don't want you okay. to kick me. God, Julia. Oh. Yeah. oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. I got a good one. Uh, so it doesn't hurt. Maybe thigh or butt cheek. Just punch him as hard as you can. Uh, what? Point, let her punch you in the butt as hard as she can. Bend over. Yeah, bend. Uh, actually, actually, to the butt. I actually kind of like that. I just oh, feel, I feel like I'm gonna throw yeah, yeah. up, dude. I feel like I'm gonna. Throw okay, up. okay, okay. Well then, okay. you can punch you in the butt. Uh, wait, are you punching me in the butt? In the butt. In yeah, the yeah. Butt, Julia. In, in his butt. butt. Inside of his butt. <laughs> punch him. I don't care. See? That actually kind of hurt too. What yeah, the hell? it's a punch, bro. Okay, so let's put. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand this way. You stand there so that uppercut, camera. uppercut in the ass. Oh, uppercut in the ass. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! Just a regular punch. You want me just like a jab? Yeah, yeah. But you gotta move your hands. You're like a little kid know, is getting Josh, spanked. I know. Just I let know. Let me punch you in the stomach. <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> that first this is one great. almost took me out, Julia. What? What? That okay, one? ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready, 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 ready. Well, I'm just jabbing you in the butt. You're gonna throw your punch. Like that? That was my balls. <laughs> oh, did everybody say that's not fair? You have no padding there. Oh, ah. come on. We do this. So, we Dude, do this that so one much jab, that one jab, like really hurt. You want me to yeah, yeah. In the. Oh, so you can punch me like yeah, bare well, fisted like, in what? the balls? No, 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 no. Like this. Like, R.I.P. Okay, okay, one more, guys. This is without gloves. Everybody uh, say R.I.P. Davey. We do this on my gym all the time. So you're just going to... Harden your abs. Up like your, okay. Flex your abs. Flex okay. them. You got, you're fine. Go. Oh. Is that okay? That wasn't that hard. Was that okay? Was that better? And Davey's <laughs> pissed himself. <laughs> no, it was not better. Josh, I... <laughs> I think Josh. I should hate be this. Here. Yeah, Josh, you get over here and take a punch um, in the stomach. So I ate dinner right before this show, <laughs> and it's, it's trust me, it would not be good oh, for anybody. No. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't take. I'm, I, I, I'm not trying to prove anything. I could not take the punch, uh -huh. but I do not want to shit myself live <laughs> on Davey's YouTube. Oh my goodness. Dude, okay. Everyone's saying that I'm. Uh, you little, know, a weenie, uh, you and are. I'm soft. And you are, dude. That hurts. It was not that bad, especially I didn't even the get, first one. I didn't even get to do anything though. Yeah, such a. What was. did you want to do? I wanted to like a nice hook into the side, just like. I feel like that would really, really, Julia. I don't train. Pain is temporary. My bones are much softer than. Pain is temporary. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this they are just roasting me in yep. here. That are is they? rude. I hope yep. so. That is go, rude. Y'all go so hard on him, please. Yeah, wow. The views are <laughs> please, skyrocketing. Please. Hit him See, again. See, they want more. <laughs> <laughs> they want more. <laughs> Give them uh, what they want, Dr. Davey. Tim works at the hospital. He'll take care of you. <laughs> He'll take <Perfect>. care of you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? We cannot believe he is a beanie bag. What, oh, what's I don't know. What I don't know mean. what that means at all. Yeah, teeny yes. weeny tiny. Dude, <laughs> David Harris says, <laughs> "Call the wambulance." Wow. I feel like now I have to let you hit me hard. Yeah. Let I me think just you get should. one nice, uh, just one nice one. Okay, I'll, Josh, can you be ready to just play the outro because I'm not yeah. going to be able to do an sure, outro after this. Okay. Okay, we're going to do one last punch, y'all. Thank you so much for watching Friends with Ooh. Davey. Thank you to our guest, Julia Watkins, <laughs> MMA fighter, just extraordinary person all the way around. Uh you've been amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, producer Josh, yeah. I I do not like you right now. I know because this was your whole idea. Uh huh. Ah. This is one of my best ideas. We'll be back next week at 8 p.m. Be sure you be sure you tune in. We're gonna have another amazing guest, and I'm gonna just get punched one last time. Bare ah. knuckles. Okay. Here we, Here we go. go. Do this. One Bare last knuckle. time. Oh man. No, 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 no. Put on the glove. Put on the glove. Am Absolutely right? not. Put on the glove or no love. What? Yeah, that's <laughs> like a condom thing, but instead it's an actual glove. Right. Oh, this is like one of the greatest days of my I life. Need, I need you. To, I need you to fully like. You should close your commit. eyes. No. How about no? How about not fully commit? Close your eyes. Close your eyes so you don't you look. Do and one more jab? No. Don't no, flinch. Just do it, just do it, just do don't flinch. Oh. That's a broken rib. That wasn't that bad. That's a broken rib. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. He's really on the floor. <laughs> I, I heard a crack. I really did. Oh. <laughs> I think he broke his rib.
Greatest show on earth. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it so much. 